hi guys welcome to another video my name is agnes in today's tutorial i will show you how i made this raglan top down top you can call it a t-shirt if you want to i wanted something easy that i can pair with jeans and have this simple fall look and i think i achieved that i want to think that uh, it is easy to make you can make it in any size i'll be telling you how you can do that in this tutorial and i used velvet yarn which is very soft i tried to pair it with black trousers here and i think i didn't like the look so yeah i think the colors much better with the jeans so yeah we will stick to that so First of all, I wanted to say thank you so much to Janelle and Camilla for becoming members of my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. If you want to support this channel, please uh, just click join. It is on my profile and you'll become a member of my channel. So we are just going to go straight into this tutorial. Yarn, I'm going to be using this velvet fine from Katya Yarns. I will leave a link in my description. So the details of this velvet yarn are, it is 50 grams and 174 yards each kind. And it recommends a hook size of 2.5 to 3 millimeter. Uh, I'm going to be using a 3.5, so I'm go going uh, a hook size bigger. So, yeah. You can use the 2.5 or 3 millimeter hook if you like or you can use any other yarn and also use the recommended hook size but for me i'll be using a 3.5 in this tutorial this is like the softest yarn i've ever used for sure for sure like it feels very soft uh, we are going to start from the top down then work the sleeves and lastly we will work this ribbing at the top i just decided to do it last but yeah that's how we're going to make the top so first order of business i need you to get a book because we need to determine your size how many stitches how many inches you're going to make so get a book and we will need to note this down book and paper please so and this book came with the katia yarn <laughs> anyway also go into your closet and get your favorite t-shirt or i don't know sweater i got this sweater that i have from zara and i want to make the same size so yeah we are going to measure the back of this neckline so get your t-shirt or sweater and measure the back of the neckline this is going to determine how many stitches we will be making okay so get your tape measure this is mine and from here to here you can see i have about uh, let's measure i have about 5.5 uh, inches in between but i want my neckline a little bit bigger so i'm going to measure from the outside and i'm also doing the ribbing at the end so i'll measure from the outside because i want my neckline a little bit bigger than what i have in this top okay so i will do seven inches all right seven inches so measure your top and then note down those inches or centimeters i don't care just measure uh, note down the measurements okay mine is seven inches so get your notebook and we are going to make a drawing that's a rectangle so i will make this the back it's going to be the back of my top and then two sides that will be the 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 sleeves and then the front of the top like this all right it's a rectangle make a rectangle it doesn't matter make a rectangle and then we are going to determine how many inches we need so mine at the back what you measured on your top or sweater write it down mine was seven inches right so i wrote seven inches up there just to keep records right so we need to know how many stitches we want and these two sides are the same and then the front and the back are also the same but i want to start my my stitches and end my stitches this is going to be my seam okay my seam is going to be in the middle this is where i'm putting that line okay so these are going to be our corners all right now we need to determine how many exactly how many stitches we need for our foundation chain all right we only have the measurements of the back and this will help us determine how many stitches we need. 
determine how many stitches we need you're gonna take your yarn and just make a chain this is just we've not started on the pattern yet this is to determine how many stitches we want okay so take your yarn make a chain something bigger than seven inches for me definitely let's see i'm just uh, doing roughly this is about 10 so it's about 10 inches just add a couple of more all right so what we are going to do you we are i'm going to be working with double crochets for this pattern so i'm going to yarn over and skip two and into the third one make a double crochet and then into the next one a double crochet into the next one a double crochet and I'm just going to make double crochets till the end. So I will meet you once you have uh, this hole done. Right. So I didn't complete it, but this is what I have. Now we need to gauge how many chain, um, uh, how many stitches we need for our work. So like I measured mine from from my sweater that I already had, I wanted seven inches, right? So I am going to measure seven inches. And this is going to be i'll measure from here until where i have seven inches okay so just lay it flat like this and this is where i have seven inches right so i am going to mark this i don't have anything to mark it with but i'll put this pain okay so this is where my seven inches are and then i'm going to count all the stitches up to here so i have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. So my pen is in the thirtieth. So I have thirty stitches, and this is an equivalent of seven inches for me so see how many inches you have then measure them there and then that's the number of stitches that you are going to need so mine is 30 so i'm going to come to my chart here to my little rectangle and i'm going to write 30 stitches okay so I don't know how many you have you could have i don't know 40 you could have 26 whichever according to the size of your uh, sweater or uh, t-shirt or whatever you're using top okay so so this means down here it should also be 30 right here because it's the same should be 30 but i want to uh, leave my seam in the middle so which means i'll just divide it into two so which means 30 divided by 2 is 15 stitches and then 15 stitches on this side all right one side one side and then that makes 30 so how do we determine our arms stitches this is going to be our, our sleeve stitches so for the sleeve stitches we are going to get this 15 inch stitches this is half of this 15 and then plus this is 15 stitches plus now half of the 15 what is half of 15 7.5 all right but seven point we, we don't we don't have 7.5 stitches so you can either uh, round it off to seven or you can round it off to uh eight so i will do eight so plus eight okay and then see for the corners we are going to be using uh 
one stitch each so this mimics this side so 15 plus Not 23 eight okay so this is 23 so this side is also 23 stitches okay so 23 stitches on one side 23 stitches on the other side we have 30 this side we have uh, 15 15 okay and then we have the corners the corners need one stitch each so this is one stitch one stitch each and now we are going to uh, count all of them so you're going to add all of them so you have 30 and then you have uh, again 30 here all right and then you have 23 and then you have 23 on both sides and then you have uh, these four all right so once you add that then this is uh, 10 and then becomes 4 7 11 So my whole uh, foundation chain is going to be 110 stitches. All right. Did you get it? So first I measured my sweater from side to side at the back. And that was seven inches. Then I crocheted this this. Uh, just to gauge how many stitches I needed and I measured seven inches on this and I counted the number of stitches that is equivalent to seven inches and that was 30 stitches and then after that this should also be 30 stitches but I divided it into two because I need my seam going down like this and then that's 15 plus 15 and then for the sleeves you get just half of the 30 which is just one part of this 15 plus half of of this that 15 so which makes it 23 for me so do the same math and then you add corners one corner each corner is one stitch and then you add everything up and this is going to be the foundation stitches is everything clear all right so let's start on the pattern it's simple math just uh, slow down the the video and then you get it so you you can you can make any size with this just measure on whatever uh, item you already have and then now let's make a new sweater okay so to start with we are going to start with a foundation chain so how many stitches do you have okay for me mine is 110 so i'm going to chain 110 This is 10 and I'm going to go ahead and add a hundred more and then I come when you have your chain. So I have my chain, it's 110 and I will make it straight like this. Just make your chain straight so that it's not... Okay. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. So yes we are straight and now we are going to join it okay so i'm gonna go into the very first stitch here and make a slip stitch go into the first stitch and make a slip stitch so this is what I have all right and um, now we are going to start on the first row round so my first round is 30 stitches all right before I get to the corner so I'm coming from no it's uh, I'm going to start down here all right let me show you i will start here okay this because this is where i want to be adjoining my round okay so we'll start here so i'll do 15 stitches and then a corner okay so let's start i'm going to chain one two and three 
and then I'm going to do 15 stitches so I'm just gonna go into this is going to count as a stitch so I'm gonna go into the second one so this is my first one I'll do two three all right so i have my 15 all right so now i'm into the corner so into the corner stitch we are going to go right into this next stitch which is our corner stitch make a double crochet and then we are going to chain one two and then into that very same stitch we are going to make our second double crochet like this we make this v all right and then so i'm here i did 15 corner and now i do 23 before the next corner okay so uh, i'm not going to do this on camera but uh, i'm going to do 23 so that's one two three and then i'll do 20 more and then come to put the corner all right so i have my 23 stitches so now i need to make this corner so i had 15 made a corner 23 now i need to make the corner so what do we do with the corner we go into this very corner stitch here make a double crochet chain two go into the very same stitch and make a double crochet and now i need to work 30 stitches all right so i'm going to work 30 stitches this is one this is two is three and I'm going to work 30 stitches then once I'm at this corner I'll make the corner stitches so that's a one double crochet then chain two and then another double crochet in the same stitch and then I'll work th 23 stitches and then I'll work 15 and meet you here so 23 corner 15 then i meet you here so you should have one two three four corners all right 15 stitches here 15 stitches here and i'll meet you so that we can join and start on the next so row this is what i have so far and i want to close this off so i already did my 15 double crochets and i'm going to close this off on top of the chain three right here i will make a slip stitch and then i'm going to chain three and then go on top of this very first double crochet and make a double crochet which counts as my second double crochet because my chain three counts as a double crochet and then i'm going to go in every double crochet making a double crochet So, 
once I get here, these are my 15. Just let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now I'm going to make a double crochet on top of this double crochet in the corner. So now that makes an increase. So it's now 16, right? So now in the chain space here, we are going to make an increase. So I'll go in same pattern so you're going to go in with a double crochet chain to double crochet so we make a v in that chain space and then we are going to work on top of this very fast double crochet so double crochet and then double crochet in every stitch like this so that's how we are working the corners okay you will just go in with uh, two double crochets that's one double crochet chain two one double crochet okay and so we are going to go all the way with double crochets until we are at this corner and i'll just meet you to show you one more time how to do the corner so i'm coming to the corner and i'm going to make a double crochet on top of this double crochet right here and then go into this chain space make a double crochet then chain two and into the very same chain space make my second double crochet and then I go on top of this double crochet, the first one, and continue making same pattern, double crochets in every stitch. So there's this stitch here, double crochet. All right, so you're just going to go on doing the same thing all around and I'll meet you right here at the end so i'm coming to the end of my round and this right here is going to be my last stitch on top of this last double crochet and then i'm going to go right here on top of the chain three slip stitch and then i'm going to chain three and start all over again so just this is my first double crochet so i'm going to go on this top of this very first one and make a double crochet second one make a double crochet and i'm going to double crochet in every stitch until i get to the corner once i get to the corner i make a double crochet in the chain space then chain two then another double crochet and continue doing the same thing until i come back here to end it off with a slip stitch so i'll come i want to change color i want to show you how to change color and, and if you want to change pattern you can also do that so yeah see. so i have three rows so far okay now i want to change color so i'm going to be using this white for now so i'll just go on top here where I ended my my row top of this chain three here and I'm going to reattach my yarn and I'm going to chain three one two three yarn over and I'm going to just uh, uh, make four so I'm going to make four because now I want to start on the mesh so then I skip one double crochet and then into the next double crochet, I make a double crochet. This is very optional. You don't have to do the mesh part. You can just continue with double crochets. So chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one into the next one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one double crochet chain one skip one double crochet so we are making the mesh part and it's just by chaining one skip one stitch and then make a double crochet all right so when we get here i'm going i've, I've chained one so now i'm going straight into this space so i will make my increase by making a double crochet chain one a double crochet into that same space 
and then chain one skip one like that and I'll meet you at the end it's the same thing this pattern here will stay the same okay working in the corner don't forget the corners I've come all the way to the end and um, this was my last stitch so since I don't have any other stitch I'll just uh, make a slip stitch on top of the chain third chain okay like this and then you're going to chain three and four and then do it all over again so this time around it's just you know double crocheting on top of the previous double crochet and you're making a chain in between so it's chain double crochet chain double crochet chain double crochet all right so it's same thing and i get to the corner I'll show you double crochet and now we need to work in this corner so once you have on top of this one you're going to work double crochet in the corner chain two double crochet and then i'm going to work a double crochet on top of this previous double crochet like this so i've worked my corners because my last stitch here i had a stitch in between so i could chain a one right so right here my last stitch was on top of this last double crochet so i cannot chain a one but i will just work the the corner how it's supposed to be and then i'll just start again chain one skip one on top of this double crochet chain one and then on top of the next double crochet chain one double crochet like that okay the sun is too too hot all right so you're going to go all around until you get back here and when you get here then you're going to work it depends on how many rows of mesh you want so once you're done i think i'll only do uh three rows of mesh so i'll go on again and again until i have three rows of mesh and then change color and do the double crochets so for the double crochets it's the same pattern like here so what you'll do is you'll once you close it off here then you'll work on top of every stitch and of course in the chain space so that we close off the mesh so you'll be work into the chain one and then on top of the double crochet into the chain one on top of the double crochet chain one on top of the double crochet so you will work in every stitch so that we are back to having this pattern and then you can keep changing pattern until you have you're ready to put uh, to close off your sleeves and as for me i will do that until until i have the length of this armhole of my sweater because i'm trying to create the same size so i'll just measure from up here until down here and this is how many inches i will do from before we do this part okay so i'll come and meet you when i have this length i'll tell you how many inches once i'm done so i'm done and i'm ready to just work on the body and leave the uh, the armholes alone so i did uh, about 5.5 inches you can measure this from your uh, collarbone to your underarm uh, or you can measure on your t-shirt or your sweater that you are recreating so we will do the ribbing later up there so i have 5.5 okay so now we want to work this part down here and leave out the sleeve part so i'm going to reattach my yarn and it will be at the same spot i've been doing which is here so we 
attach my yarn and chain three one two and three and i'm now working the double crochet so i'll be just going in this counts as a double crochet then i'll go in this space here double crochet on top of this stitch double crochet So I'm going to work double crochets until I am at the corner here. All right, so we work double crochets until we are at this corner, then I need you. So I'm coming to the corner. As you can see, uh, this is my corner right here. So I'm going to work in this last stitch here. And then I have the chain space. So in that chain space, we are going to work two double crochets without a chain like this. Okay, so we are not chaining. And then we want to connect this corner to this corner so that we leave this part of the sleeve. So what you'll do is you're going to chain one, two, three, four. You're going to chain four stitches. All right, so you are going to go all the way to this side and now you're going to yarn over on your hook like this go to this side and you are going to make two double crochets in this space so that's one and that's two like that because now we're, we are leaving this armhole here and working like we, like so so you're just going to continue with your pattern which is double crochets in every stitch like this and we're going to work all along this down here until we are back at this corner and then i'll come show you how we do it it's the same like here but i want to show you so i went all the way to this other corner and now we need to do what we did on this side so uh, into the corner you're going to make two double crochets and then we're going to chain four so one two three four then yarn over and you're going to go right into this corner on this other side and make two double crochets so this is one double crochet and then two double crochets so we have our sleeve here and then you're just going to continue with one double crochet in every stitch and in every chain space until you get to the end of the round i'll meet you here so i've come to the end and i have this one stitch remaining here in this chain space so i make my last double crochet and then i go on top of this chain three and close it off with a slip stitch like that all right so now we are just going to work round so you chain three and go on top of this first double crochet make a double crochet double crochet in every stitch And I'm going to meet you here where we have the chains that will show you how we work on top of the chains. So I'm here at the chains and I'm going to work double crochets in every chain. So that's one. That's two. I'm working in two loops. That's three. And my last one is right here. And that's four and then you just continue on with double crochets as usual in every stitch so you have something looking like this all right so we are going to continue doing this same for this other side so when you get here you're going to do the same 
and you're just going to keep going round on this part round on this part until you have the height of your top that you want and then we'll come and do the sleeves okay so this is the height of my top and uh i didn't do the ribbing at the bottom you can do the ribbing if you want but i already did one sleeve and i did the ribbing now i'll show you how i did that and the ribbing on the sleeve is the same as the one on the top and if you want at the bottom too but yeah so you can make the sleeve longer if you want but i wanted a short one because i want i want it to be like a t-shirt so we want to reattach your yarn but i'm attaching it here in uh, at the underarm in the underarm on the underarm i don't know okay in the middle stitch there right down here reattach your yarn and we are going to be working double crochets in every stitch so i'm going to chain three go into this next stitch because my ch my double crochet works as a stitch my chain three works as a double crochet oh my goodness so i'm going to go into every stitch with a double crochet and here is a bit tricky so watch where i'm placing my stitches because they're not defined i will place my stitch in the middle here and then here and then now they are defined so now i press i place in every uh, stitch since i'm working since i have chains on the previous row so i'll also be placing a stitch in every chain space so on top of a double crochet and in the chain space top of double crochet and in the chain space did i mention how soft this yarn is it is very soft so go all around and i'll meet you here so i'm at the end of the row all the round and i'm going to close this round off with a slip stitch on top of that chain three so pattern is simple i'm just going to chain three and make double crochets in every stitch and you will just continue doing the same if you want to make the mesh make the mesh like you were doing before and yeah it's a simple pattern we're just going to keep going round and round so double crochet in every stitch all right i'll be doing the same pattern after every three rows i do two mesh like that and i'll meet you once you're ready to put the ribbing just like here it's just a few rows that i'm doing all right so do that and we'll do the ribbing this yarn is soft i'm telling you all right so i'm done with my rows and i did one two three four five six seven and now i am ready to put the ribbing so for the ribbing we're going to be making a few reductions just few so let me show you we'll be using the front post and back post so chain three and we are going to make a front post so this is how you make a front post this stitch right here go under it with your hook like this and then make a front post which is like a double crochet then next is a back post go over it from the back and make a double crochet that is called a back post next is a front post we are alternating between a front post and a back post next will be a back post so come from the back over it like this next is a front post so come from the front and under it like this next is uh, how many do i have two three four five so now we make a reduction after every five stitches so reduction is we are going to work into these two so our next one is a back post so i'll go from the back go over two stitches two stitches all right you see them two and then make a back post so i made a reduction there and then we are just going to continue my next is a front post and i will do one front post so i'm making a reduction after every five stitches so that's two three four five and then i make a reduction so since this is a back post i'll come from the back and go over two stitches instead of one so 
we're making a reduction all right so this is simple just do front post and back post and make a reduction after every five stitches all right and i'll see you at the end of the round so i'm coming to the end and this is how it looks so far so we make a slip stitch on top of that chain three and now for the next round is going to be easy because we are going to chain three and then work front post where there's a front post all right and then a back post where there's a back post no more reductions no nothing it's just work front post and back post front post and back post and that's the pattern so you're going to do that in every stitch front post back post front post back post and then until you get to the end of the round and then once you get to the end of the round make a slip stitch and then start another round depends on how many you want i will make just three rounds of front post and back post i already have two so i'll make one more and be done then you do the other sleeve too and i'll meet you once you have two sleeves you can see how it looks like this yarn is soft i'm telling you like for the hundredth time like really feels great all right so i'm done if you want you can do the same ribbing at the bottom it's the same thing right but i will not do that i will do it at the top i don't want to reshoot it it's the same just front post and back post five stitches make a reduction and then go all around with front post and back post for your second row until you have the rows that you want all right same if you want at the bottom do the same five front post and back post and that's it all right so i am done and this is how it looks like i did f four rows at the top i didn't do anything at the bottom because i wanted it like that at the top i did four rows of front post and back post and it pretty looks like this and yeah we have our t-shirt or our top it's quite simple easy just wear it over jeans or over skirt and it looks like a t-shirt so thank you so much for watching guys i hope you like it and if you do please leave a comment or uh, share this video with your friends uh, it helps the channel grow and i appreciate each and every one of you if you'd like to become a member of my channel go ahead and do that i will appreciate the extra support so thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next tutorial bye